Hey guys. Today on Codger's Workshop, we're gonna have a Drill Master vs. Ryobi Showdown. And it's all inspired because of this month's Harbor Freight catalog. And uh, let's talk about why. So today I got this month's Harbor Freight catalog and I was pretty excited. I always am. Always good deals. And uh I was surprised by a few things. As you guys all probably know, really, Hyper Freight's been beefing up their game and uh, they've been coming out with some new lines of tools that are supposed to be comparable to DeWalt and other tools. And they're really talking them up here. And they've been comparing their tools to DeWalt for a while. I'm not a DeWalt owner, so that didn't mean much for me. But this issue, they started comparing their tools to Ryobi. And as you can see here, you've got the Bauer advertisement. Hang on. Focus. Come on. Focus. There it is. Bauer. Compared to Ryobi. Half inch compact drill driver kit. So there's that is. And I've been thinking price range, and from what I'm hearing online, probably performance wise, it is comparable to Ryobi. So that didn't bother me too much. But then I started going more through the catalog. And I got to some stuff that really irked me. And it was right here. Oops, hang on. Yeah, paper flying. There we go. Right here. You guys see that? 18 volt, 3 8 cordless drill driver and flashlight kit. Drill master. Compare to Ryobi. They're comparing a $20 drill to Ryobi. And this really set me off, Except, uh, especially since I have both drills, and I know that that is the biggest load of crap I've ever heard in my life. So, it gets worse. They're also comparing their Drillmaster corded skill saw to Ryobi. Drillmaster people, you know, Drillmaster, cheap, cheesy, doesn't get any worse than Drillmaster, the worst ever. No, it wasn't their skill saw that they compared, okay. It was their, they compared it to a skill saw, a skill brand skill saw. Now can you imagine that being compared with a skill brand skill saw? That, 10 amp, Drillmaster circular I can't even that doesn't even no we all know Harbor Freight makes either junk or semi half decent stuff depending on what you buy but none of it ever compares to name brand tools that's why we buy them it's because they're cheaper even though they don't compare well not only are they coming out with new lines of tools but because they're coming out with more tools with more different features they're raising their prices, and Harbor Freight's losing its its zest. And I'm not real impressed that they think that the way to win people over on their new tools is to compare them to name brand tools and tell everybody, you know, that they've got them over DeWalt and Ryobi and Bosch and all these brands that we all know better. And even if they do in performance and durability, they'll never match up. So, and then the last thing, it's in here somewhere, was, they were, ah, right there, Chicago Electric beats Ryobi, here we go, see that, Ryobi's $249 saw, which they advertise isn't dual bevel, and pretty much everything else is about the same, except Ryobi has it all over the Chicago Electric on RPMs, but Chicago Electric has higher cutting capacity and weighs a little more. So, anyway, which we all know, if you're a Ryobi guy, Ryobi does make a dual bevel sliding miter saw, and this is just ridiculousness, even though I know they're trying to make the point that Harbor Freight stuff is cheaper. We all know that the quality is cheaper too, so 
I don't know what they're figuring on accomplishing, but I'm getting kind of feisty over this. So anyway, I thought <laughs> we'd teach her Harbor Freight a little lesson here and do a showdown right now between this new Ryobi drill and my year, couple year old Drillmaster drill here and uh, do some driving and drilling tests. So let's get down to business. guys I had some trouble getting stuff together I've got some, I know I've got a package of three inch screw somewhere but I couldn't lay my fingers on them but I found this three inch screw so we'll just use this and I've got some one and a quarter little drywall screws we'll try drive them and then I've got regular bits spade bits we'll do some drill tests so let's start out with the quarter inch, one and a quarter inch drywall screw. And we'll put one of these in with the drill master. If you guys can see really what's going on here. Get him a little closer just to make sure you guys can see the stuff. Crank you down a little bit here. There we go. Open in a little bit. A little crooked, but you can see, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. Finish driving this in. That's about it. The drill master. You can see, it sunk it. Not the greatest. Pretty decent. It did the job. Not too much hassle, so that will do with the Ryobi. Just install a bit here. First gear. There she goes. About the same depth there out of the Ryobi. No one in the quarter. So they work out about the same there. Oh yes, folks, and there's one more thing we got to show you in the catalog. You guys are looking for some more bogus comments for Harbor Freight. From Harbor Freight here. Uh where was it? Hang on. Aha! Uh -huh. Check this out. It's very important later on. I don't know if you can see this. It says, 0 to 900 RPM motor handles all your daily drilling applications. Remember you saw that, folks. You're going to get a shrewd awakening when you see the drill tests. Okay. Now, move on to the three inch screw. Took all my self control to leave my blue Ryobi out of this comparison. You guys all know she's my baby. I should have put a, probably another block under here to catch this, but it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? Sinks it pretty decent. Uh, depending on what you're driving, it hesitates on the three-inch screws. What you're driving into, mm -hmm. but uh, wow, the black flies are thick. Whew. It didn't do too bad there. So let's give it another try here. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Let me try some. Screw. I'm gonna grab 
the block. If you guys ever come to Maine, bring your bug spray. Oops. Flies are horrible down here. Up here, up here. Right now. <laughs> okay, we'll get down with that. The Ryobi also works as good dead weight. Okay, ready? Let's see that. There. You saw it there. See how it lugged right down? It's that having that extra board in there, that was all it took. I didn't want to drive it. Lugged it right out. Now for Ryobi. Started. Ready, guys? Here we go. <laughs> Check out the difference in them puppies. That was the Harbor Freight hole. And check out the Ryobi hole way down there. Tell me, folks, does that look comparable? I don't think so. I realize Ryobi isn't the best, but for them to claim this piece of garbage to be equivalent to a Ryobi is uncomprehendable. You guys might be able to start seeing why I'm so outraged. You guys saw my review on the Drill Master. If you're doing just small projects it's not bad but if you're planning on doing anything big then you should really look elsewhere I don't think I'd better get that out to choke up on the bit a little bit hang on folks we'll get her out If I can get the screw out. No, sir, she's at the point of no return, return guys. I'll just spin my board around. You guys are like, you gotta get a quick release clamp, man. I know. I really should have one for this sort of thing. Alright. Other thing I'll tell you. Not only will the Harbor Freight drill not handle your everyday drilling applications, but it won't last very long on a battery either. You get drilling with that, it doesn't take long, you know you're not dealing with much of a battery. Okay. Cranked up. And we'll start like everyone else does with simple quarter inch bit. I don't know why everybody always starts with a quarter inch, but I guess it's pretty standard. Okay, ready? Set her out. I'll be on the bevel. Yeah, okay. Here we go, folks. No problem. Let's see it with the Ryobi. Okay. Let's up second gear. 
faster, a lot faster. Okay. And we'll jump her right up to 3164s. And she took the quarter inch, right? This is pushing our chuck capabilities, as you can see. Oops. Nice Irwin bits, brand new. So good and sharp. Ready? There we go. And there she goes. Not the greatest. And now the Ryobi. Keep in mind also, they're comparing a 3 8 chuck drill to a half inch drill. That alone should give you an idea why they're not comparable. Here we go. Oops. Torque setting goes down. There she goes, folks. Wait, did I go through? Oh, I guess I didn't. I bound. There she goes. Yep. Speedy. We'll give you another one. Without any bound. CDC. Okay. She's through. Okay. Yep. Just like that. And now. For an inch spade bit. This is where it gets just totally brutal, guys. Totally brutal. Okay, let the drill master go to slaughter. Here we go. Getting pretty warm too on the back. That one. Okay. And for the Ryobi. Here we go. Boom. Done. What do you think, guys? I think talk is cheap, and I think Hybrid Freight is playing some dirty tricks to get people to invest in their new tool lines, and apparently their old everybody knows their junk lines. So I don't know. Pretty disappointed, that's for sure. I used to think of Hybrid Freight to be an honest company that just made some cheap, affordable tools, but it's looking bleak. America's favorite tool store is selling out to crookedness. So, 